And what is the difference between being a Christian, between being a Jew, between being a Muslim? All right. So Jews believe that Jesus was not the Messiah and was not a good prophet. And he obviously wasn't God. Muslims believe that Jesus was a very good prophet. And a typical devout Muslim has far more respect for Jesus than a typical American. Because a devout Muslim believes that Jesus was born of a virgin lived a sinless life, and because he was such a good prophet, God would never allow him to die on a cross, so he took him to heaven. So the cross and the resurrection are wiped out, but a devout Muslim believes that Jesus is going to return a second time. So they believe in Jesus as a good prophet. Repeatedly in the Quran, Muhammad says, Jesus is not God. But in the New Testament, the eyewitnesses who saw and heard Christ insisted Jesus claimed to be God by both his words and his actions. Mark chapter 2, he forgives the sins of a man who's lowered on a mat from the ceiling, never having seen the guy before, and all the religious people say, that's blasphemy, only God can forgive sin. Yeah, by claiming to forgive the sin of that guy, Jesus is claiming to be God. And in John 8, 58, Jesus says, before Abraham was born, I am. And the Jews did not call God G-O-D, they called him I am, Yahweh. And Jesus very intentionally took the name of the eternal pre-existent God, applied it to himself, and they picked up stones to stone it for blasphemy. So, you see, the basic issue is who is Jesus? And Judaism, Islam, and Christianity disagree. Now, here's my problem with Islam. I have a lot of respect for the fact that one of the five pillars of Islam is give alms to the poor. I respect that. Obviously, Jesus taught that. I appreciate that Muhammad had a very high view of Jesus as a good, good prophet. But he, here's some of the problems with it. The miracle of Islam is not a person. It's a book, the Quran. In order to know that revelation, the clear revelation of God, the Quran, best, you have to learn Arabic. In other words, God is revealing himself in Arabic most clearly. The miracle of Christianity is not a book, it's not the Bible, it's Jesus Christ, the person who is God in human form. So, am I going to be attracted to a religion that says, Arabic, that's what you got to go, or no, Jesus loves the world and gives him his life for everybody. Second difference is, Muhammad came with a sword, and let's be honest, it was not pretty for North Africa and for Europe, what the Muslims did. And one of the largest churches in the 2nd and 3rd century was in Egypt, and that church got slaughtered. So, Muhammad came with a sword, Jesus came with a towel, and he served people. And I am convinced that the reason that more people are followers of Christ than any other religion is because of his love, his serving, as well as his truth that he outlined very, very clearly. So those are two of the reasons that I think it's very difficult to be intellectually honest and to go down the path of Islam, because there are some real contradictions. The third one is this. Muhammad was born in 570 AD, lived till about 632 AD. So obviously he never met Jesus. He insisted that Jesus never claimed to be God. Sorry, the eyewitnesses who saw Jesus, who heard Jesus, clearly wrote, he claimed to be God. Now, who am I going to trust? Am I going to trust a guy who was born 570 years after the fact, who obviously never met Jesus? Or am I going to trust the eyewitnesses? Well, that's a no-brainer. Every single time I want to find out about any historical figure, I want to press the information back as far as I can, hopefully to the eyewitnesses. So Jesus clearly claimed to be God, which is a fundamental philosophical and religious mistake that Muhammad and the Quran are making when they deny the deity of Christ.